This is the true story. This is the true story of guitar YouTubers. This is the true story of guitar YouTubers. Pick to live in a guitar house. Unbox together. Demo together. Play together. To find out what happens when... People stop being guitar. And start being house. And start being house. Guitar house. Guitar house. Guitar house. Guitar house. Guitar house. Guitar House is brought to you with support from Sweetwater, Diadario, Chase Bliss, and Big Ear Pedals. Hey everybody, this is Jason and welcome to Working Class Music. I'm one of your hosts today and we're still at Guitar House. So this is going to be a fun episode. I thought on this episode it would be fun to check out one of my best friends, Mike Adams, Jaguar, which he recently played live for the first time in forever and he brought it with him i played it <laughs> and just a little bit of information for you i am typically not the biggest jaguar fan i was but i, I think i find myself fighting with the scale length from time to time so we're gonna go over that so will this change my mind i don't know but a little info about this friday night so <laughs> I have the legendary, the jazz master, offset guru, Mike Adams himself in the flesh. And I realized while reviewing this, I did not know the specs on this. And I left that out because I was just like, who better than Mike to explain this? The guy who built it. Yes. So let's start with the neck. Let's start with the neck. So we've got a 1963B width neck. This is the original neck to my charcoal frost jag that has the 12 yes. pickups in it. For some reason, I hated this neck on that guitar, took it off, I popped on a 65A width neck and put this in the corner for a long time. So finally found a project for it. So it's got a 63A neck that's a veneer board, so it's curved, still has the clay dots, which aren't clay, they're tiled, but we eh. got a freshly cut bone nut on there for you. Got a set of Goto Poussin style aged tuners up. Oh, which I like quite a bit. The original decal. I think I replaced that string tree last week because I got tired of the old one. It was bent. And then I did a full refret on that with Stumac uh, 148 frets. It's a seven and a quarter radius fretboard until you get to about here where it flattens. Did you get it? Just a little bit. Not quite to nine and a half. Just a little bit to make bending just a little bit sweeter. Me, with my tiny baby hands, I like a skinny neck. This is about 0 0.82, 0 0.83. And once I found the depth that I like to adjust the profile, I put some stick it sandpaper in my hand and I just went like this until I was happy with the profile. I literally shaped it to my hand because it's my neck. I will do what I want. What pickups are in here? So these are a set by the fantastic company EP Custom. Lovely small operation. This is their 62 Jaguar set, which they now wind with form var wire. The bridge pickup is overwound. It's like 7.3K, which is pretty hot for a Jag. Jags are usually like 6.5. The neck pickup is 6.3. Perfect balance, perfect match. Bridge is nice and throaty. The neck has depth and mid-range, and I'm really happy with that set. Pots. One meg! One Emerson minute. CTS one meg pots, no treble bleed. I did completely rewire it. Actually, this switch pod. This entire switch pod is from a 62 Jag that someone needed parts for. So, this is vintage. I forgot about that. It doesn't have to be vintage. I just had them and I used them. The Rhythm Circuit is also out of that same 62 Jaguar that had huge issues. So the Rhythm Circuit, I did replace the switch because the switch was faulty on that. But the wiring is is your normal Jag. Uh, Mastery is the bridge option that works best for me. There are so many great options. We've got Stay Trim, Halon, we've got the American Pro 2 bridge. There are so many great bridges out there. Obviously find the one that works best for you. For me, Mastery works best for me. Even though I use heavy strings, it's the one that has the sound I like. Why the finish? <laughs> I love sparkle. Ever since I was a kid, I've been like keenly attracted to sparkly things. So I've always wanted a sparkle guitar. I never had one. So I went to Guitar Mill. Guitar Mill is a place that does bodies and finishes and, they, and necks too, but their finishes are incredible. And they did this finish and it is one of the deepest sparkle finishes I've ever encountered. And it is in a color called Coke Bottle Sparkle, uh, which is something I have 
desperately wanted ever since discovering one of my favorite surf players whose name is Dave Ronsky. He's in a band called Slacktone. He has this stable of incredible sparkle finished Jaguars. I've envied his Coke bottle guitar for a long time. So I finally made it happen and I oh, couldn't be happier. Yeah, wonderful. Well, sweet. Thank you for uh, letting me play this. I can't wait to see the review. I, I hope that it does well. Oh, I, I think it will. I've <laughs> never had somebody review my guitar? Well, being on the other side of it. Oh, yeah. nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah, Nelson, this is where we... So, yeah, let's uh, give it a couple noodles and... Bridge pickup. Both pickups. I guess we have to ask the age-old question, does Mike's guitar dad rock? Let's find out. Fucked up the ending. Oh, well, we're keeping it. Let's check out the rhythm circuit. So yeah, let's talk about first impressions. <laughs> so admittedly, I played this guitar yesterday and I turned around and I told Mike, this is by far the best Jaguar that I've ever played. Like Fender, I don't think you're watching this. I don't even think you know we exist. But if you somehow managed to see this video, Mike Adams deserves his own signature model. And I would say this would be one that you should copy for him. Although that Darth Vader model looks really interesting too. So, I don't know. But as for this, yeah, nothing but pros. There's no cons about this. The neck is super comfortable. That 60s neck is amazing. I like that it's sanded down and it's worn in. It feels like it's been played with some love. So yeah, I love that. Now, the pickups. I love the pickups. I'm very much becoming a bridge kind of guy, which is weird. I typically prefer the neck pickup, but the metal bridge and neck sound amazing. Obviously, props for mastery, mastery vibrato assembly and the mastery bridge, which I've come to love. I will say they are the best um, that I've found. If you have any other suggestions as far as bridges I should check out, leave them below in the comments. So yeah, I would greatly appreciate that. Overall, this is one of the best guitars I've ever played in my life. I was a bit nervous, but <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Fender should turn this into like a signature model. Maybe, hopefully, Mike's cool enough for that. So 
with that said, it's time to close this out. And I want to thank our sponsors, Sweetwater, Chase Bliss, Big Ear Petals, Diodario. Uh, we love you and we appreciate you for making this happen for us. Also, a big thank you to Ryan for 60 Cycle Home for putting on Guitar House. It's been an amazing, amazing journey here and the friendships are real and I love that. Thank you to Emily for being so wonderful. I don't know when this is going to go out, but we have a few podcasts with her, so please check that out. Perfecto. He makes the perfect coffee and he is awesome. Probably the easily best musician ever. And of course, the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Adams for letting me check this out. <laughs> it's Friday night. You're gonna have to clone this for me some kind of way because I love this. So without further ado, oh, there's a, there's a Ryan. <laughs> So without further ado, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, leave me what your favorite offset is. I want to know that. What 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 is your favorite offset? Leave that in the comments. We have Patreon, merch, Instagram, Facebook, everything. We have everything. So hit us up, enjoy, and thank you. Nelson, I'm a big fan. I follow you on Twitter. You're the best. Yes. I'm You're sure. doing a great job, Nelson. <laughs> Hell yeah, Nelson. yeah, we gotta keep that in there. On the next episode of Guitar House. Could we smash the guitar in the house? <laughs> in the house?